Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine traversing the distance from New York to London in a mere one hour and 54 minutes. Though it looks like a dream, but in reality, it has been made possible by the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. This legendary reconnaissance plane has dominated the skies for over three decades and has achieved feats that still astound us today. Join us as we explore the fascinating history of the Blackbird, from its secretive development within the Lockheed Skunk Works to its pivotal role in gathering critical intelligence during the Cold War. Let's get in to know the details of its groundbreaking design, cutting-edge technology, and the daring missions undertaken by its fearless pilots. The SR-71 Blackbird is the fastest stealth spy plane in the world, flying three times the speed of sound, faster than a rifle bullet. Its unique appearance, resembling a combination of a spaceship and an airplane, is considered a work of art. Even 50 years later, it still holds the record for the fastest and highest man-made flight without rocket propulsion, pushing 1960s aviation technology to its limits. The Blackbird's forward-thinking design was a risky, multi-million dollar venture that relied on manual calculations using slide rules and calculators, as today's high-powered computers were not available at that time. It symbolizes high-speed supersonic crews and has served as a sentinel for the free world, with its brave pilots risking their lives to operate at the edge of what was considered possible. The story of the SR-71 Blackbird began in 1957 during the Cold War's peak when the Soviet Union's development of intercontinental ballistic missiles required intelligence gathering on their nuclear arsenal. Project Archangel, led by aviation genius Kelly Johnson at Lockheed Skunk Works, aimed to create an undetectable spy plane capable of flying deep into Soviet territory without being picked up by radar. Kelly Johnson designed the U-2, America's first spy plane in 1955. The U-2 flew at high altitudes to avoid detection by Soviet radar. However, it was eventually tracked, leading to the need for a new spy plane that couldn't be detected. In 1958, Skunk Works started Project Archangel, outlining 10 designs with the prefix A for Archangel. Despite concerns about radar visibility, the A-10, capable of Mach 3.2, emerged as the top choice. In March 1959, Skunk Works addressed the radar visibility issue to secure a $96 million contract from the CIA for the A-12, a design that incorporated breakthrough elements from various Archangel designs. The U-2 incident showed the vulnerability of spy planes, prompting the need for a replacement. Building the A-12, which had to cruise at Mach 3, presented challenges for Skunk Works. The high speed required a shift from conventional aluminum to titanium due to extreme temperatures generated in flight. Skunk Works overcame obstacles, including obtaining titanium from the Soviet Union through dummy companies and developed new manufacturing processes. The A-12, later called the SR-71, started operating in 1966, making history as the fastest manned plane globally. Its distinct features and innovative stealth technology turned it into a symbol of aviation excellence. President Johnson's mistake in naming it the SR-71 instead of RS-71 became its official name. The SR-71's ability to fly at record-breaking speeds and altitudes significantly helped the United States maintain a strategic advantage during the Cold War. The urgency to use the Blackbird grew during the Cuban Missile Crisis, especially after Air Force Major Rudolf Anderson died in a U-2 reconnaissance mission over Cuba, shot down by a Soviet surface-to-air missile. This tragic event emphasized the need for a high-performance alternative, prompting the Skunk Works team to take action. Responding with determination and creativity, Skunk Works faced numerous challenges during the Blackbird's flight testing phase, constantly pushing the limits of aeronautical achievement. The Blackbird, breaking records with each flight, notably achieved a sustained speed exceeding Mach 3 on July 20, 1963, reaching an astonishing altitude of 78,000 feet. These accomplishments were not without difficulties. The unprecedented speed of 3,000 feet per second required a re-evaluation of navigation methods. Traditional visual references like highways and cities became obsolete, replaced by reliance on mountain ranges, coastlines, and large bodies of water. 
On December 22, 1964, a Blackbird completed its final flight checks at Lockheed's plant in Palmdale, CA. It marked the first official test flight of the SR-71, and the test pilot, Bob Gilliland, had the honor of being the first in the cockpit, personally chosen by Kelly Johnson. Despite 383 unresolved technical issues or open items, Gilliland initially advised not to push the plane too hard, eventually broke the sound barrier, reaching speeds of 1,600 kilometers per hour and cruising at 15,000 meters, over three kilometers higher than a commercial jetliner. Flying the Blackbird was a tough job that required pilots to stay focused. Despite the difficulties, pilots felt excited in the cockpit, enjoying their roles in this complex and adrenaline-filled task. Air Force Colonel Jim Wadkins described the experience as almost like a religious one at 85,000 feet and Mach 3. The Blackbird's unmatched speed and altitude made it immune to regular air defense systems. Even when anti-aircraft weapons were fired, the warning light on the control panel signaled danger. But the Blackbird's evasive maneuvers usually thwarted the attempted attacks, causing surface-to-air missiles to explode far from their target. The Blackbird was nicknamed a three-second airplane because it demanded intense concentration. Despite its initial success, tragedy struck in January 1966 during a crucial test flight, resulting in the presumed death of pilot Bill Weaver and reconnaissance specialist Jim Zweier. Weaver miraculously survived a free fall from the edge of space, landing in New Mexico, only to discover that his friend Zweier had not survived. The investigation found that optimizing the plane's performance had compromised its stability, leading to a loss of control and catastrophic strain on the airframe. By 1967, solutions were found, and the Blackbird program became fully operational from Beale Air Force Base, California. The Blackbird broke records by flying three times faster than the speed of sound. Its engines produced 160,000 horsepower, allowing it to fly 25 kilometers above the Earth. Interestingly, it never saw action over the Soviet Union. Instead, in 1968, it played a crucial role in Vietnam, gathering intelligence and critical data. In 1968, the Blackbird was detected by enemy radar for the first time, and surface-to-air missiles became more effective. In 1981, it played a crucial role in collecting intelligence on North Korean anti-aircraft missiles. While on a mission over the demilitarized zone, the Blackbird crew faced a simulated missile launch, only to discover that it was a live missile approaching at incredible speeds. Tension rose as the crew assessed the situation, realizing the imminent danger of the live missile rapidly climbing. In August 1981, during heightened tensions, North Korea fired a Soviet-made guided missile at a Blackbird spy plane. This prompted a high-stakes maneuver by aircrew Maury Rosenberg and Ed McKim. The Blackbird's unmatched speed saved it, preventing enemy missiles from recalculating and redirecting in time. Despite the Soviets developing the MiG-25 fighter, no SR-71 Blackbird was lost to enemy fire. Nine years later, the Blackbird was still the fastest spy plane in the world until satellite technology became more prevalent. In March 1990, the Blackbird program was ended, finishing with a record-setting flight from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. The Blackbird confirmed its legacy by setting numerous records. It is recognized as the fastest and highest flying manned aircraft in the world. During its retirement flight in 1990, covering the entire coast-to-coast -coast distance from Los Angeles to Washington, it took just 67 minutes, highlighting its unmatched speed. Besides these achievements, the Blackbird played a vital role in fulfilling strategic responsibilities, by providing the United States with detailed and mission-critical reconnaissance for over two decades. The premature retirement sparked regret during the Gulf War when the Blackbird's unique capabilities were missed. In reality, the Blackbird was a very expensive aircraft to operate, and it was also becoming increasingly difficult to maintain. Additionally, the development of new satellite technology made the Blackbird less necessary. As a result, the decision was made to retire the aircraft in the late 1990s. The Blackbird's legacy lives on in technologies like the B-2 Stealth Bomber and F-117A Nighthawk. Even after five decades, it remains iconic, featured in Hollywood films and holding the title of the fastest and highest flying manned airplane. The Lockheed YF-12A is a prototype interceptor among the aircraft inspired by the groundbreaking Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, 
It was developed alongside the A12 SR-71 program and looks a lot like the SR-71, but it has a bigger radar and heavier armament. The Soviet Union responded to the SR-71 with the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 Foxbat, the largest and heaviest fighter aircraft ever built. Although less stealthy, the MiG-25 could reach speeds of Mach 3.2 and presented a significant challenge as a countermeasure. The SR-71 Blackbird symbolizes perseverance, ingenuity, and patriotism, playing a crucial role in maintaining peace during the Cold War and leaving an enduring mark in aviation history. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.